there, welcome to the window. My name is Amy and today we are doing my December TBR. So last month in November I reached my Goodreads reading challenge goal of 50 books. So I'm currently sitting at 51 books and I am hoping maybe to reach 60 books this year. So that means for this month I'm going to have to read 9 books. Now with work picking up and with Christmas things happening I don't know if that's a realistic goal, but you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna aim for it. Today we will be using my lovely TBR jar for the first time. It says TBR 2016, but you know I'm gonna start now. It's only it's only a month before 2016, so I'm gonna do that. And then I also have a little bit of a library haul. I've been going to my local library a lot recently and I'm really enjoying having all these books at my fingertips but I don't have to pay for them. The only downside is I don't get to keep them. The way I use a library is I read the books and if I really like them then I go out and buy them for myself. So I'm going to go into the books I got from my library first and then we'll get to opening my TBR jar. Okay so I got five books from my local library and we'll just get into them. The first book that I got from the library was the Raven Boys by Maggie Stivada, which is the first book in the Raven Cycle. I've been seeing this a lot on my Tumblr. I followed someone who talks about the guys in this all the time, and I was like, I need to know who these people are. I also have no idea what this is about. I know it's about some guys, and they're adorable and grumpy. That's <laughs> pretty much the extent of my knowledge about the Raven Cycle, so yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. The next book is one that I've had my eye on for a while, but I actually forgot about. I saw it about 12 months ago, and I saw it at my local library, and I was just like, yep, I'll take that one, thanks. And that is The Ghosts of Heaven by Marcus Sedgwick. This book is very interesting because it's split into four parts, and you can read each of those four parts in any order that you'd like. I'm used to very linear novel. Apparently, each different way that you read it makes some sort of sense, but every time you read it in a different way, it'll make a different sort of sense. So I'm really interested to read this and I'm going to try and stop myself from reading it in the order it was placed. I believe it has something to do with like time and like a black hole maybe. Because I'm not sure what it's about, I'm just going to read the blurb. The spiral has existed as long as time has existed. It's there when a girl walks through the forest, the moist green air clinging to her skin. There, centuries later, in a pleasant Greendale, hiding the treacherous waters of Golden Beck that take Anna, who they call a witch. There, on the other side of the world, where a mad poet watches the waves and knows the horrors they hide. And, far into the future, as Keir Bowman realises his destiny. Each takes their next step in life. None will ever go back to the same place. And so their journeys begin. So that sounds pretty interesting to me. I think I've got it right about it's something to do with time. Um, and it's a beautiful book. I mean, there's this gold foiling and the pages are blue sprayed. And I want to see what it looks like naked, but it's a library book. Next, I saw Zeros by Scott Westerfeld, Margot Lanigan, and Deborah Bianacotti. But I love Scott Westerfeld. I loved the Uglies series. It was amazing. And I haven't actually read anything else by him. And so I thought I would pick this one up because it came out recently and everyone's been telling me to read it. So here I am. I will read it this month, hopefully. Next, I picked up The Winner's Curse by Marie Rutkowski. I think it's about a girl who falls in love with a slave um, in a society where people, rich people buy slaves and she um, feels this connection to him and purchases him. I'm not sure what else apart from that, but I absolutely love A Thousand Pieces of You, as you should know by now if you've been on this channel for a while if not I love a thousand pieces of you and part of it is set in Russia with a girl who's a princess falling in love with someone she shouldn't and I love those sorts of stories I love it when people fall in love with people of a different class to them and the complication that brings up I love that trope so yeah I I'm keen to read this one lastly from my library I picked up Ferris by Marissa Meyer which is like the chronicles of Queen Lavana's evilness or how she became evil. I have yet to pick up Winter and I really really want it but I'm trying to restrain myself because Christmas is coming and not that that's what I'm getting for Christmas but I just want to uh, save up my mummy until then. So yeah I'm hoping this will give me a bit of insight into Queen Lavana as I'm sure it will and also uh, stay me over until I can get my hands on Winter. I just love this cover. It's so creepy. 
It's those, um, it's like those cheesecloth statues. It's so cool, so creepy, I love it. Okay, so because I got five books from the library, I just need four books from my TBR to make up 60 books for this entire year, which would be nice. And so, I will get them out of my lovely TBR jar. If you'd like to know how to make one of these, I have a DIY on my channel, which I will link below, just a little plug there. Before I went to the library, I needed a book to read on the way to the library, so I picked out the Bean Chronicles from my TBR jar. Um, and the Bean Chronicles is by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan, and Maureen Johnson, and I'm really keen to read them. Okay, so now I'll pick out three from my TBR jar. And the problem with my TBR jar is it's, it's a bit hard to shake it up because it's, it's very full. So I did my best before I put them into the jar to shuffle them all around. So hopefully I get a nice variety of books to select from this month. We'll just um, pick one, two, three. All blue ones, all blue ones. And I have The Independence of Miss Mary Bennett by Colleen McCullough. And this is a book that I got from a charity shop and I plan to do a DIY with it soon. So I'm glad I've picked this out so I can read it so that I don't feel bad for destroying a book that I haven't read. It's Champion by Maria Lou. This is the last book in the Legend trilogy and I have yet to finish it. So I got it last Christmas and I started reading the book series about three years ago. So I should probably finish it off. I I think I pretty much forget everything that the book is about, but I will look up some summaries from the other books um, so that I can read it and not have to reread the other ones. Enduring Love by Ian McEwan. So this book, I'm not entirely sure what it's about. I got this in a blind date with a book from Elizabeth's Bookshop, like at the start of the year. I think it was around Easter. So I'm really excited to finally read it. I did read another book by Ian McEwan, which was Atonement, and I... I didn't particularly enjoy it. I, I liked it, it was good enough, but I just, the main character annoyed me a little bit. But this one hopefully will not. Okay, so these are the three other books from my TBR that I hope to read. So we have Endurance by Ian McEwan, The Independence of Miss Mary Bennett by Colleen McCullough, and Champion by Marie Lou. I'm not sure what any of these books are about. It's I've had them all so long that I've forgotten. Be honest so these are all the books that I hope to read oh oh no oh no okay these are all the books that I hope to read in the month of December uh, I hope you are having a lovely day and happy reading bye <laughs> sorry sorry that's an abuse of of, of books I I'm, I'm sorry I'm apologizing for you but I should not have used the power of these heavy books to hit you I, I apologize I apologize